Hello friends, welcome to Inside Tech. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. Friends, continuing in the substation control panel drawing reading series. In today's video, we are going to learn about PT wiring for 11 kV Jyoti make breaker. In that specifically, we are going to see about PT selection scheme too. So friends, in, uh, up till now, we have seen various videos on 66 kV transformer wiring schemes. The link of which is given in the description below. Also for 11 kV breaker panels, we have seen tripping circuit, closing circuit and indication circuit. The link for which is also mentioned in the description box below. So you can visit those videos for your reference. Friends, now let's begin PT selection scheme. So to understand PT selection scheme, we have to first understand this, this panel. This panel is a transformer incomer breaker panel. So in this panel, we have the cable coming from the transformer LV side from through this part of the panel, which get connect, connected to the breaker over here. And through the breaker, the power passes further inside the panel, inside the bus in the panel board further. So this is the PT section. Uh, what does a PT do is, PT is used for measurement and protection as we all know. And the output of, output of this PT is given into this control panel. And that is also common for all the panel, throughout the panel board. Okay, so now let us see what is a panel board that we are talking about. So this is the incomer panel for transformer 1 and this is the incomer panel for say transformer 2. Then we have various number of outgoing panels that are connected to this incomer respectively and this is say suppose section A and this is section B then there is a provision for connecting these two sections through a bus coupler. So bus coupler panel has basically two sections. First one is bus coupler itself and the second one is adapter. Now let us understand how the bus is formed inside this panel board. Okay, so you can see from the incomer panel, R phase is coming through the bus coupler. Through the bus coupler, it gets connected to the another section of the bus. You can see that in this bus coupler, this breaker plays an important role of connecting bus 1, bus section 1 and say bus section 2. So whenever this breaker is on, bus section 1 will be connected to bus section 2. Now similarly, this thing is happening for Y and B phase inside this panel board. We have PT for incomers. Say this is for incomer 1, we have the PT. The LV side of this PT is to the control panel of incomer 1. Okay, you can see all three phases are taken from LV side of the PT to this control panel of incomer 1. And also from the PT of PT section of incomer 2, we have R, Y and B phase coming and through passing it is passing through all this control all this control panel of all the panels and it is reaching up to transformer number one now inside this control panel we have one inside this control panel we have one contactor such that it will select either the bus is using the pt supply from incomer one or it is using from incomer two Okay, now we have in any case either the PT is given from uh, transformer number 1 or either it will be given from transformer number 2. So what PT selection scheme is, it is to understand how the selection of the PT is done either for bus 1 or for bus 2, say either for TR1 or for TR2. Okay, so now let us understand that. You can see once the PT is selected. Say it is given from transformer number 1 or transformer number 2. 
through this PT selection scheme. Then that selected PT now travels through this entire panel board and it reaches up to all the panels inside this panel board. So again this PT is used for metering purpose inside each panels, right? So now let us see how this selection is done. So friends, as, as we have seen in the previous videos about CT and PT wiring, we know that for PT is given through this fuse over here and then it goes into the voltage selection scheme. So now let us understand voltage selection scheme further from here. So friends, now let us understand this PT selection scheme in detail. So as we already saw that from through fuse, we have the PT selection scheme. Okay, through fuse, uh, the wiring for PT selection scheme will start. And as you can see over here, at TB number 3, with 6, 7, 8 and 9 connections, we have R, Y and B phase for incomer 1. AC supply PT for incomer 1. Okay, and similarly for uh, TB that is named as SP at the points 11, 12, 13 and 14, we have R, Y and B phase coming for the incomer number 2. Okay, so now let us understand this scheme and how it works. You can see over here uh, for this thing uh, how this is R, Y and B phase. So between B phase okay, and Y phase as you can see over here there is a connection given to this coil. Okay, so uh, for B phase and for Y phase the connection is given to this contactor 83C okay and its coil will be energized when there will be presence of these two phases okay now uh, there is another provision for 83a coil see you can see that is connected between r phase and y phase as you can see same connection okay but when does this 83a is energized this is energized uh, between this R phase and Y phase connection there are two uh, switches over here so the first is whenever there is 83 C will be energized it will close this it will close this contact okay and this is 52 A 52 A is one of the auxiliary contacts of the breaker of incomer one panel okay so whenever the breaker will be on this 52 A contact will be closed okay this will be energized and this will close this 83C contact okay and the circuit gets completed after which we can see that PT for bus 1 will be selected okay let's now see what is happening we have R, Y and B phase and neutral coming for bus 1 incomer panel okay and once this is energized because we have already the the cable is charged okay for R Y B phase so we have both these phases over here coming over here and this is energizing it so 83 83C will be closed okay so once when we turn the breaker on this auxiliary contact will also be closed okay and once this is closed we will see that this connections for PT selection will be given at this for bus 1 okay breaker is on 52A contact gets closed 83A coil gets energized and what happens is now we have the PT selection done for the incomer 1 okay and through this we have the PT going further into the panel board right so this is how PT selection for bus 1 is done, okay. What happens when we want to connect it to bus 2 is, say this 52A breaker for incomer 1 is open, it is not closed, okay. So automatically this switches will be connected on bus number for transformer number 2 and once it gets connected on this side, 
okay of this pt pt2 is selected and that will that pt is further connected to all the panel boards and give supply to the bus for the friends let us discuss what will happen if we are having more than two incomers connected to the panel board okay so let us see if we have one more incomer connected in our panel board one more transformer is connected in our panel board then you can see that at uh, points 15 16 17 18 of sb this uh, this pt is supply is given okay for transformer number 3 incomer now uh, as we have already discussed you can see whenever this 52a is closed that is for incomer number 1 breaker is on 83c will be energized and 83a will be energized because of that r y b and neutral is coming over here okay and you can see in this scheme also we have 83b contactor that gets energized from that gets energized from this r and y phase over here so if this breaker is closed then this will be also energized and you can see this selected pt of transformer number one will be carry forwarded to the uh, selected so to the selected pt and it will go towards the panel board further into the bus right so if the same 52a contact is used over here okay for if it is incomer one is on now what will happen if incomer 1 is off and incomer 2 is on suppose incomer 2 is on then the pt selected will be for incomer 2 over here it will come at this point okay and at what will happen over here is again r phase is selected okay and to energize the other end to energize this context we will have to bring the context of breaker of the second incomer okay like this 52a is auxiliary contact of breaker one similarly we will have to bring another contact from breaker two for tr2 okay right and once that is energized once that is closed the breaker is closed it will energize 83b contact okay and again this will be selected the selected pt will again come from ic incomer 2 okay now third scenario will be when both this transformer breakers are off and tr3 incomer is breaker is on okay then directly as you can see this is selected the pt is already selected for incomer number 3 okay so this will not energize and directly selected pt from incomer number 3 will go into the bus further so friends, this is how the PT selection scheme works. So now we have seen in this panel board, we have PT for 1, PT for bus 2 and how the selection procedure is done through the contractor over here. Okay, and how PT selection is done and the selected PT will move further into this common bus for metering and protection purpose. So friends, this is how PT selection scheme works. I hope the idea about PT selection scheme has been clear to you. So that's it about PT selection scheme in this video. In the next video, what you want to learn, you can mention in the comments below. Keep watching our videos. Thank you.